Hey everyone, Trina here, back with day 37 of the 100 Day Project. Today we're going to start our exploration of a square page. I'm also going to be using my very uh, messy <laughs> Derwent line and wash kit. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is make some marks. This is a watercolor sketchbook that I bought a while ago when I bought some things off Timu. I know that Timu sucks and I didn't know that when I bought this. So, but it's got, it's a really nice 140 pound eight by eight square watercolor sketchbook. And I think it's going to be really fun to play in. Okay. I'm talking and not drawing. Um, so I just wanted to explore the concepts and ideas that we started exploring yesterday. Um, so let me get some paint. Okay, this Derwent set has a few intense paints in it. Ooh, I'm really liking this paper. It's different than my Reeves, but it's uh, it's not terrible. But you can see that it's got a little bit of tooth to it. It's really handling this paint very well. Let's go in with a card. See how that works. Give that a little try. This set is what I use when it when I, when I do urban sketching. It's a really nice travel palette. I sometimes take it when with me when I'm doing a drawing. Um, I'm excited to play with some of the colors that are in here. Let's get a few more lines going here. I want more of a... can really see the lines through there. This is a different blue. This is one of the intense colors that came in the set that's a pan. It's almost like this reddish brown color, which is super sweet. You can see why I like the set. Bring it down a little bit though. It's a little different than painting with the Schminkes. I think this is the port color. Oh, this is the port. I'm just trying some different color combos here. Let's see what we get. Okay, the biggest thing that I noticed about working square is <laughs> I'm still in this format. I probably should have started much lower, but we'll figure it out. I don't want this to be a little sketchy. Let's get some. Okay, so I've mixed up a little bit of a brown tone with some orange. I'm not sure I'm loving that though. I don't hate it, hate it, but I don't love it. Maybe less of it, always less of it. Okay, it needs more dark tones through here. So I'm gonna add in more of the panes. I just think it needs a little bit more drama through here. And let's come in with the palette knife. Do a little bit more mark making through here. I 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I really like the paper at the beginning, but now that it's getting wet, more wet, it, uh, it's definitely, you can see it's kind of buckling. But we're just sketching, so it's probably okay. Okay, we're gonna go in like we did yesterday with the ivory black so we're gonna try a little bit more of that today why is my roller not rolling <laughs> my prayer wasn't rolling that's very weird okay a little too much there let's spray it out just a little bit more Um, so I think I'm going to go, maybe we'll, I'm going to do it more at an angle this time, rather than just straight. Let's see what we get there. Something a little different, so it's kind of like off-centered a little bit. Let's um, press this on to the page here. I think I'm going to put it like right through here. One thing I noticed right away is that it's the perfect fit for this page. It's eight by eight and this is eight by ten plate okay we're gonna love that okay so i just realized i did not put gel medium <laughs> on this one but it should be fine so we're not gonna wait 10 minutes we're just gonna peel it up and that totally made a difference right I mean, it's not horrible yeah i forgot to let it dry and put the gel medium on but you can see what a difference that makes as far as how the stencil works. Um, it didn't transfer as well. Let's, I think I'm gonna go and do another white strip through there and see how that works. Here I just added some titanium white. I'm gonna roll that out. Pretty thin. And this time we're gonna use I think we'll just do this one straight this time with some of the smaller. Okay. We will let this one dry and we will add some gel medium onto it. So let's let that dry. Okay, let's roll out the gel medium through here. Then, so I don't know if you noticed, but I've kept the plastic part on my gel plate. It gives it just a little bit more stability. So when I'm laying things down, I'm not like, it's not flopping everywhere. Um, I think I want it to be, I don't know, like right there. Sure. Why not? And press this down. It's looking pretty cool, I think, if it transfers. Very important to remember the steps in your process, right? Okay, we're going to let that dry for 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and see what we get. Okay, let's take this up and see what we got. Uh, it sort of worked. I feel like it might be this paper, unfortunately. Okay, but we move on. So I'm gonna go in with some of the Derwent ink tints. Kind of make some marks through here. Add some layers through here. And let's add some water to that. Let's 
come in with the ladder stencil here. This is the dark indigo Derwent graphy tint. going. That's way too much. It doesn't take much water to activate these. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Um, let's see. I kind of want, what if I did? I'm kind of intrigued by this part of the stencil. Let's see what happens if this does anything for it. It's definitely going to take longer to do. <laughs> so we're probably not going to do a whole lot. And I'm trying to decide if I want them to be paint or if I just want them to be, I kind of like, let's put a few of these in there too. Do I want them to be paint or do I want them to be just drawing parts? Okay, I'm gonna lift this up and just see. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of both. What do you think? We'll be wishy-washy about it. don't hate it. Okay. Okay, we're going to add some white through here. That did something. I don't know. I feel like I want to put black on it. Let me think about it. We're going to add in a little bit more white down here. And, you know, I might want some up here. So now I have a decision to make. I have this stencil. And I'm really liking this shape. These are supposed to be tree shapes. But I'm thinking, what if I just put it through there? I don't know, we're gonna see. I mean, it's play, right? Okay, I've got out my deco paint marker. We're gonna do something 
probably bad. <laughs> um, I've taped down the stencil. And now I'm just gonna color in or paint in. I just feel like it needed something crazy almost. Gotta take risk, right? It's all about taking risk. Do I want to use that part up there? Sure, why not? We're taking bold inspired action today. And this could be very bad or it could be very good. It could be genius, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna stop there. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I don't, I don't hate it. I kind of like how it's, although I'm not sure about right there, but I'm gonna leave it. But I am gonna go through and put some more white through here to kind of continue on our theme of dots, our dot theme. I just think it'll look really cool on top of It'll just add another layer to it, hopefully. It won't look too weird. Okay, I don't want too much. Okay, my paint was a little wet, but I might need to add a few more in here too. I've taken some black here and I'm just gonna print it right there. Oops. Oh, it's not horrible. Am I getting carried away? I don't think so. I feel like I need another spot of this though. Maybe not. Maybe. More like that. Let's add in some of our Payne's gray lines with the ink tints. Kind of bring it all together. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna be done for today. Um, I think I like how this turned out. Do I like it as much as yesterday's piece? Probably not. Um, I'm not really grooving on that, that uh, Derwent watercolor I used up there. I think it's really dull, um, lacks some depth to it. Uh, I do like the black shape. I have to say, I love it. I love it. I think it adds like another layer like on top and I definitely think we'll be using that again. Um, pretty happy with the brown that I laid down, the ivory black. 
and the dots over top. And I like how the dots and the lines are kind of moving back and forth and creating this layers and these little sketchy marks through here. Okay, I do not have a mat for this, so we won't be like, well, let's, hold on one second. Okay, we can do half a mat. <laughs> um, so this is what it might look like with a mat on it. And now I have a two with a mat, I kind of like it more, but I kind of like what I did here. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a little different, but I like it. Um, okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click over here to see another video, and I will see you tomorrow for day 38. We're going to continue on this path and see if we can bring some more ideas, take some ideas out that didn't work, and continue to build on what we got going here. Thanks so much. Bye.